we're actually doing something completely new that nobody else in the industry has been doing. I mean, everywhere else in labs, it's a standard, but in the industry, it's never been done. So let's talk about that. So let's talk about the salinity. Yeah. All right, so we pulled the circuitry from the main board into a mini board mm -hmm. that connects to so it's isolated. Yeah. But on top of that, we've made a lot of changes uh, in terms of the practicality and how to calibrate the salinity probe. Yeah. We're actually doing something completely new that nobody mm -hmm. else in the industry has been doing. I mean, everywhere else in labs, it's a standard, but in the yeah. industry, it's never been done. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so we're using a, a two-point calibration step when we calibrate the salinity probe. Okay. And it's not that uh, we wanna try and make things more difficult or have another solution for you to purchase. It's, it, we wanna have something that's stable and accurate. Mm -hmm. And that's what two-point gives you, two uh, reference points to calibrate against. Now, up until this time, if I remember, pretty much every controller on the market that I know of, and you know, I could be wrong, but most controller, most controllers on the market, they only use a one-point calibration, yeah. which it yeah, really it makes make, no yeah. sense. It yeah. makes yeah. no sense, especially when you think about you do, you know, with a pH probe, you do two, if not three. Exactly. So, so we use a. Uh, we're going to be using a para, right? Yep. A para, which is a well-known, a, yep. a well-known, and I know that they actually have a several lab machines, mm -hmm. you know, a thousand and up, yep. and they actually their standard is a three-point calibration. Yep. So in a way, yes, like you said, we are not doing this because we want you to, we want to, we want to sell you more liquid. Mm -hmm. It's because we we know that a two-point calibration is always going to be much better yep. than a one-point calibration. And considering the salinity has been the thorn mm. in every controllers, you know, until now, yeah. it's like we have to take every step that we can right. to make that, to mitigate and mm. make that probe much better. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we talked about this in detail is that, you know, there's so much electrical noise going on with pumps, heaters, and these probes being in the sump, it, that this electrical noise can cause this, these probes to drift or give very inaccurate readings.